Hey sweet friends, thank you for being here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is huge grocery haul plus free tree stock and pantry organization. I'm going to show you what we've got from Walmart and Sam's Club and then we'll move on to restocking the kitchen. From Sam's Club, I got some blueberries and strawberries. I got grape tomatoes and bananas. I pick up a lot of bananas because I need to freeze some of them for our smoothie. And then for from Walmart, I got some shredded carrots carrots, red bell peppers, iceberg lettuce, and some romaine lettuce for our salad. We got a couple of ground beef, Greek yogurt, this is the honey vanilla flavor, my all-time favorite. I got heavy whipping cream, lactate milk, I can't have regular milk. I also got a bag of raspberries for smoothies and then some hot dogs, we have the regular ones. We have this jalapeno cheddar and then the other one is the regular uh, cheddar hot dogs. And then some red onions and yellow onions here. My husband picked up this banana walnut muffin as well from Sam's Club. And my son and my son, they both really like this. I never got to try it but they said it was good. And then we got some bread here, chocolate croissant, my son's favorite. And then we have this raisin cinnamon bread. I love eating this for breakfast i don't eat heavy breakfast so sometimes i would just have coffee in this or i would eat brunch and then we have some pork stew here i use this for like sauteed veggies on this side we have these montecada mini muffins i like taking this for my work for when i take a quick break and then also for snack at home for my son we have some steak here beef brisket bacon tofu we have frozen burger and then we pick up some oatmeal and a couple of the pringles and then we have this box of pasta roni here and some regular uh, pasta which is the penne pasta we have chicken fried rice these chicken breasts uh tenders from sam's club that's the frozen ones my husband loved those and then we have vienna sausage we have Oreo and some uh, Chips Ahoy cookie here. These are the soft ones. We have some brownie and some canned goods here and also um, salad dressing. We have um, Thousand Island. I didn't realize my husband picked up the one with the bacon so I ended up going back to get the regular. Thousand Island, this is like the only dressing I like for my salad at least with the lettuce. Uh, let me know in the comments down below what salad dressing is your favorite and then we have some spread here for sandwiches and then like i said some canned goods we have olives here we are on salad paste right now so we pick up some things that we could use for the salad and then we have this coconut pineapple juice i use this for smoothie if i don't use milk this is what i use i love it we have some gravy here we always use gravy here in our home and then some canned mushroom and diced tomatoes we also have some soup we always eat soup any time of the day whether it's summer or winter we always have to have soup i got some chips here this one is the mini takis i like to take this for work because sometimes i don't really want to eat but i want to snack so i got those mini ones like i said for um i take it for work when i go on my break and then for non-food item, we got these bulk batteries from Sam's Club. I feel like it's better than buying the little ones. And then we got some cleaning vinegar here, toothpaste. I also pick up this eye drop. My eyes has been super dry lately, so I needed some of this. And then I got one for like regular when I don't wear contact lens. And then also when I wear contact lens. Because like I said, my eyes has been like super dry lately. And then I got this acne spot treatment. I'm also like having some acne around my uh, chin. I think it's hormonal. I don't really know. But yeah, so that's what I use. And it pretty much dries it in a couple days. And then I got some knife sharpener and... I pick up this spoon from Walmart. I wanted to try if it's any good. I hope it will not rust. So I only pick up a couple of them because I wanted to see. Because we always run out of um, spoon. We all get dirty and then we needed to wash them even before we run the dishwasher. And then all of our knives are super dull. I mean they are pretty old. So I pick up some new ones together with the sharpener because I wanted to try to sharpen the ones that we have. Because they are still in good condition. They're just like 
pretty dull so these knives are super sharp you guys i got them from walmart and then we have some dryer lint here we have detergent for um the laundry i pick up some gloves i use this for food when i'm cooking also when i'm cleaning and then these ziploc bags this is the large one i use this to portion our meat and we got those from sam's club it's a lot of them but you guys the last time we bought the i think it was last year so it lasts us for like half a year or more i couldn't i don't remember really but i know it lasts us for a really really long time and then i got this big pot from walmart you guys this is like 50 dollars i was really surprised it was so expensive but i don't know at least for me that's expensive let me know in the comments down below if that's expensive for you and i actually ended up returning this i just feel like the coating is going to um peel off i didn't re read the review when i was at the store so i ended up reading it when i got home and then I ended up exchanging exchanging this for something really similar and i'll probably show that to you in my um home reset video when i do a cleaning and cooking because i didn't return it until the next day but it was the same price of the one that i um got instead and it looks very very similar as well and this is pretty much everything that we got from walmart and sam's club we spent 1k you guys it's also because we got some of the non-food items the ones that are pretty expensive the pot itself like i said is 50 dollars the knives are like around 20 dollars each set so that's kind of a lot we also didn't grab a lot of meat uh this month because we still have some in the freezer so we are now going to be restocking the fridge and the pantry i'm going to do the freezer first portion all of my meat and then we'll move on to the fridge and then the pantry i don't have a lot of um restocking to do in the pantry because i recently just cleaned that and restocked that i've been maintaining restocking and cleaning like if not every week at least every few weeks so it doesn't get overwhelming yeah so if you haven't seen my pantry restock and organization where i deep clean the pantry i will link that video in my description box below <music> So we are moving on to the chest freezer. I'm going to take out everything that's in here, reorganize it, restock or put whatever that we got new in here. Make sure all the new ones get on the bottom and all the old ones are on top. If you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Sal. I am a wife and a full-time working mommy of one. In this channel, you can expect realistic cleaning motivation, satisfying home organizations, monthly grocery hauls, and seasonal home decorating. So if you enjoy this kind of contents, I would love to have you here and join my YouTube family. I upload new video weekly, so be sure to turn your notification bell on so you wouldn't miss any of my future uploads. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for coming back my friend and if you are new here please be sure to introduce yourself in the comments down below i would love to get to know you if this is your first time here i organize our chest freezer using these white baskets from walmart i always get questions where did i get this it is from walmart but i also see similar ones from target i will try to tag them with a video if i can find them online but i still see them in the store walmart and target like i said they're very similar just a little bit different with the weaving design and i like this basket because they are very sturdy i have been using this in our chest freezer for i believe over three years now and they are holding up really well when they get like some um ice crumbs on the bottom or like if they get dirty with the food all i do is like wash them in the sink and dry them and they can go back so pretty easy to clean like i said very versatile i use this in our linen closet as well and i feel like this is something you can use even in your closet toy room anywhere <music>
then I do categorize what's in the basket like for the very bottom we have all of the meat the beef the pork all of the chicken and then on top we have all of our seafood and then one of the basket have all of the potatoes like fries like different kinds of fries and then we also have bread in here and then on the side since i can't fit a basket i just put like whatever fits there really and then with this basket that's floating on top i put this frozen fried rice i like to take this for work from time to time also my husband and then if i didn't cook and i need something like quick and easy to eat we use this as well and so as this like mini frozen pizzas this is not something we eat every single day it's just like i said for when i don't cook and we need something to eat quick this is what we have We are now moving on with the fridge as you see it's pretty empty i'm going to take out everything that's inside here and wipe down all of the shelf I always make sure we keep hard boiled eggs in stock in the fridge and since we are out I'm going to cook about a dozen since we love to eat this for snack or for when we were hungry but we don't want to eat heavy. I also like to pre-package the yogurt. This is something I do on a weekly basis. And since I take this for work every single day, for my break time, this saves me a little bit of time in the morning. stocking the other side of the fridge door with some juices i'm also going to be checking expiration dates of the condiments making sure nothing is already had gone bad and reorganize here since i feel like i'm always playing tetris every time i'm putting something here i needed to wash and cut up some of the fruits and the lettuce for the fridge but before we move on to that 
I wanted to quickly reorganize the freezer down here since it's not a lot here so it's pretty quick we have pretty much all of the breakfast on the bottom side and a few frozen meals and then on top we have all of the frozen fruits and ice cream and also some frozen veggies <music> birch lettuce together with the romaine lettuce for the salad and i'm going to put them here in the bowl and mix them up once they're all cut up so that they're evenly spread i do really like the ice birch lettuce for my salad but i also added the romaine for more crunch because i feel like this is a little more like tougher than the ice birch lettuce i always take out the middle part because they tend to get hard and it's also the thing that turns brown really quick so if you notice that's what i'm doing here
I got this watermelon a few days ago from Smith's and we already ate half of them and I kept this other half in the fridge outside with some uh, sarong wrap on top and I'm going to be cutting this now since we finished the other half of this. I'm going to cut this in triangle. The last half of it, I cut it this way and my son really liked it. I think he had fun eating them. So when I cut this one, he asked me to do the same. So that's what I'm doing because usually I just cut them in cubes and put them in the container. But I feel like for him, it was fun to eat it this way. So that's what I did again. And then I put them in this cake storage so that they are still covered in the fridge but really easy access. just love how satisfying it feels after cleaning, restocking, and reorganizing the fridge. Also, I'm really grateful every time we fill up our fridge like I have already mentioned in my past grocery hauls and restocking videos.
for the fridge outside this is what it looks like on top we have the burgers hot dogs and steak pretty much anything that goes in the grill if we have breakfast bowls this is where i keep them as well since we can fit them in the fridge inside the house and for the bottom side we have all of our beverage including milk For the pantry as you see it's still pretty full but there are some empty containers that needs to get refilled so I'm going to take them out and restock them.
we do our monthly grocery hauls and I restock the fridge and pantry, a lot of times I also restock the other areas of the kitchen that needs to be restocked. So that's what I'm doing here. That is it for today's video my friend if you enjoyed this huge grocery haul plus fridge and pantry restock be sure to give it a like for more and subscribe if you haven't already thank you so much for being here today and i will see you next week with a brand new video bye friends <music>